In 2009, a man, a journalist, by the name Rob Walker, wanted to find out is, is storytelling really the most powerful tool of all? And in order to do this, he went on his computer and he bought 200 objects from eBay. And the average price of the objects were about $1. He then called 200 authors and he asked them, hey, would you like to be part of the significant object study? Which means that I would like you to write a story to one of the objects. And 200 authors said yes. So there he had 200 objects, he had 200 stories, and I assume that it was with nail-biting anticipation that he went on eBay again with all the 200 objects. Would there be a difference? Would there be a change? Do you think there was a change? One of the objects was this, this beautiful horse's head. There we go. The beautiful horse's head. Now this beautiful horse's head was bought for 99 cents and was sold when the story was added for $62.95. That is a slight increase of 6,395%. So was this a one-off situation? Not really, because he bought the 200 objects for a total of $129, selling them for $8,000. Now that's insane. But you know what's even more intellectually challenging to understand is how can you and I go to the movies and pay good money to watch movies like James Bond who are absolutely unrealistic. And we sit there, we enjoy the movie, and some of us, we really enjoy the movie. And we leave the theater going like, God, what a man. <laughs> I would like to be more like him. I'd like to walk like him. I'd like to talk like him. I like Bond. The next hero we are going to speak about, the best of all the warriors ever that the Muslims had, the name of Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu anhu. He was known as Abu Sulaiman, the father of Sulaiman. Khalid ibn al-Walid ibn al-Mughira. His father was al-Walid ibn al-Mughira al-Makhzumi. He had a son known as Khalid. He had another known as Al-Walid. He had another known as Umara. And he had another known as Hisham. All of these were children of Al-Walid. Al-Walid was a very rich man, the father of Khalid. Very, very wealthy. And he was a person who used to donate the covering of the Kaaba one year. And the whole of Quraysh used to gather to make it the following year. Every year they used to change the cover of the Kaaba. One year Al-Walid used to give it and the other year the whole of Quraysh together used to give it. That's how wealthy he was. And he was known as one of the leaders of Banu Makhzum, the Makhzumi clan. He was one of the leaders. So his sons grew up very wealthy and Khalid was a big man, powerful, muscular person. He was quite fair in complexion and he was very close in looks to Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anh. And as a youngster, he was approximately 20 years younger than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Khalid ibn al-Walid radiallahu anhu was brave enough. He said, you know what? We are going to accept Islam and we're going to Medina. He said, guess what? I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Subhanallah. So the three of them walk into the presence of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the greeting itself spoke a mountain. He says, Assalamu alayka ya Rasulallah. May peace be upon you, O messenger of Allah. This was Khalid ibn al-Walid. Wonder how I could be more like Bond. And then this weird revelation hits you like from nowhere. And you come up with the brilliant idea to walk to a watchmaker shop. And wow, it just happens to be an Omega watch in that shop that resembles the one that Bond was wearing in the movie. And you pay $10,000 to put that watch on your wrist. And you leave that store feeling like how is that possible pq media tells us that 10.5 billion dollars is turned over in product placement revenue every single year how is it possible for you to be so easily tricked by something so simple as a story because you are tricked well it all comes down to one core thing and that is emotional investment the more emotionally invested you are in anything in your life, the less critical and the less objectively observant you become. The more emotionally invested you are in anything in your life, the less critical and the less objectively observant you become. Abdullah ibn Hudayf al-Sahmi 
was one of the companions who fought in a certain battle during the, the region of Omar al Khattab. And he and a large number of the companions were caught by a Christian king and they were jailed. And then they brought Abdullah ibn Hudhafa Sahmi to the Christian's court, the, the Christian king's court, and he told him, Embrace Christianity, and I will give you half of my wealth. Just embrace Christianity. So Abdullah ibn Hudhafa, look how strong, firm, and steadfast he was. He told him, Wallahi, by Allah, if you give if you give me all of your wealth and the wealth of the entire creation, I will never leave the religion of Muhammad for a blinking of an eye. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. By Allah, I will never leave the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by a blinking of an eye. ثم أوحينا إليك أن اتبع ملة إبراهيم حنيفا وما كان من المشركين